back it's bishops dte here with our second video and this time it's a two-parter so we hope you enjoyed our first video looking at the extrude feature this time we're going to look at a couple of others within the program and then in part two we'll look at how you can render that and get a really high quality image so just like before we're going to start by going up to select working directory i'm going into my documents creo and this time I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it coffee underscore cup. So we're going to go making a coffee cup. And OK. Again, check down the bottom that you've successfully changed the directory. And if that's done, we can start. So we're going to click on new. Part exactly the same. And this time we're going to call it cup. and we're open up and I'm just going to view it in isometric to start with because we're going to use something called the revolve tool which me uh, mouse is now pointing at now the revolve is a bit like a line of symmetry it allows us to take a profile and revolve it around a center point now with the revolve it's really important you select the right work plane front and right are your preferred work planes if you pick the top work plane your cups gonna end up laying down so I'm going to click on revolve and I'm just going to click front so it's now spam round in front of me now the very first thing we need to do is we need to put in our line of symmetry and to do that we select center line click once in the middle and you'll see we've got this line that's now attached to that middle and we want to put it so it is vertical straight up I'm then going to go back to my normal line tool now from the middle there I'm going to draw one light out doesn't matter how much and I'm going to write sorry I'm going to middle click on my scroll wheel to stop drawing and then I'm going to draw another one straight up and one out to the side and stop so I've kind of made if I just press the select tool I've kind of made a C shape with the top line longer than the bottom one now what I need to do is put in some dimensions from these lines to make our framework so the top one is 45 the height is 100 and the base there is 25 I'll just resize that so you can see so I've still got that C shape you can see the top line is longer than the bottom and then we're going to use the arc tool and I'm going to connect the top to the bottom and I want to create a curve there it doesn't matter exactly how big your curve is. I'm going to keep mine at 150 and I'll see what that looks like. If I'm not happy with it I can go back and change it but I'm going to go with 150 for the moment and press OK and then what I get there is this 3D shape. So that's my 3D shape of my coffee cup. And basically what's happened is we've taken that profile and we've spun it round 365 degrees. You can see I'm just spinning it there but to be accurate three six zero and I've got my cup if I wasn't happy with it and I wanted to change something so I want to try to see what 200 looks like I can make that change there 250 until I'm happy once I'm happy I'm gonna press OK so that gives me my cup now before in our previous tutorial we did have a look at shell which is just up here so I click on shell click the top of it and it tells me how thick it is I'm going to do this three millimeters so I've now got the basis for my cup now we don't want any sharp edges on it because it's going to be uncomfortable so the round tool click on one edge try and get hold of the edge would be helpful there we go and I'm going to do that at 1.5 so that's the half of the thickness and then we just put another one on that inside edge so we've now completely rounded that over if you want to holding down the middle mouse button I'm dragging it around I'll put one on the base there and I'll do this one three so it would just make it a little bit more easier right so back to isometric and refit now this time we're going to do a sketch 
and we're going to put on our handle. So I'm going to use the sketch tool, which is there, and again I'm going to click on front because I'm going to handle in this area here and sketch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top loop of the handle. We could go straight in with the spline tool and I could just draw a shape and hope it works but I'm just going to try and be a bit more accurate on this one so I'm going to draw a circle off to the side and right click to stop drawing and I need to dimension it so 25 there is great 55 on that one and then from the top so we do it from that edge so I'll click dimension I'm clicking that edge center of my circle middle click Oop. try that again top edge, centre of my circle, middle click and I want 25 again. So that's going to give me the main part of my circle. What I am going to do is use this project button as well. Now this project button I'm going to click on and I'm going to click the inside edge. You can just see it there. And I want to make sure when I start drawing, so I'm going to find a point on there I'm going to draw across to the edge. So that circle is now connected to this edge. From the other side of my circle, I am going to use my spline tool this time. So I'm going to look for a point on there that I'm happy with, bring it down to the bottom there. Actually, I'll put a little kink in it like that. You see what I've done? Wrong point. Now that's not going to work, okay? Because I've done it in two parts. But it doesn't matter. You just go back, click delete seg segment, and we can delete all them points. So I want to put my spline more on the side here. So it's coming out from the edge there. And I'm going to bring it, let's say, to there. And then into that point. What I've got to now do is delete everything I don't need. I don't need this part of the circle, I don't need that part of the circle, and I don't need this line. So I've basically drawn a big ear on the side of the cup. Make sure you've only got the two red dots, because they show you where you're happy with, and then you click OK. We don't need to do anything else with that. That is going to put on our shape. We then go to Sweep. So the sweep recognises the sketch we've drawn. You can see it's in there in green. And just over here we've got the option to create or edit a sweep section. So I'm going to click on that. It spins around. We need to draw on this point here where that crosses. And I'm just going to draw a centre rectangle. And I'll make it 5 by 15. And if everything's gone well, when I press the OK, it will create, so that's the middle mouse button there I'm just holding down, it will create a handle. Now a handle looks a bit blocky at the moment, so all I'm going to do is use that round tool again, click on some of these edges, so three, that one again at three, press OK. We do the inside edge, but we just take it down a bit, we try two on this one and see if it likes it click that edge doesn't like two so let's change it to one there we go I've got to do both edges one notice there because of the curves meeting it's curved the top part and then the bottom part so back into isometric and that your coffee cup finished what we do in a minute, we'll set it up as a separate video and I'll show you how we can put some coffee in this and render that up.